Well, when I first worked up, uh, worked with uh, Amir was uh, Dil Chata Hai. That's I think the first time I met him. And first time we worked, I worked with him. Uh, I didn't have much of a role in that film, so I think I, in all, was there for about 12 days. Uh, so it's not uh, a long association, um, but it was uh, brief and it was it was very pleasant, very nice. No, he's a, you know, I'll tell you this. We were in Sydney. Uh, we were supposed to leave at 6 in the morning. Every day, Amir would be the first person down in the lobby. Every bloody day of the shoot that I was there. Uh, 6 o'clock, if we were supposed to leave, 5 to 6, Amir would be the first person in the lobby. And that is so impressive. It's so impressive. I think that shows what he feels about his work what his relationship is with his work and and it creates an atmosphere in the in the in the unit you know because he is a superstar you know when amir khan the superstar can be there on time then why can't you be there on time you know so it's like a pressure on everybody you know i think it's a great help to the production to the director to the to the film if your main actor and the star is is like this you know because then everything follows follows suit uh, as a as a co-actor he was just uh, Everything you want your co-actor to be, you know, he was uh, giving. Uh, he was there for every cue that was needed for you. If he was not on camera, not even his shoulder. If he was behind the camera, but he had to give a cue, he would give his cue. You know, I think he's not a lazy actor. You know, and and a lot of film actors are very lazy. He's not. Because I, again, I come back to, you know, it's his relationship with, with his work. This is what it takes. 12 hours or 8 hours or 10 hours of every day I have to give this. And he gives it, you know. And then there is no, uh, there is no uh, laziness in that. I'm supposed to give this, I'll give this, you know. So whether I'm off camera, whether I'm behind the camera, whether I'm in frame, I'll be there for the shot, you know. And then that's quite something. You know, I think we have a problem because we want to put a tag on everybody, you know. If, if uh, so Amir Khan is perfectionist. No matter what he does, he's the perfectionist, Mr. Perfectionist. I mean, come on, give him a break, you know. There's an actor, like I said, who's serious about his work, you know. But that does not make him uh, intrusive or, or uh, uh, perfectionist. And, and, you know, we make perfectionist sound almost like a bad thing, you know. Uh, we imagine that because he's a perfectionist, he will not let anybody else work that he would be intrusive in other people's business, but it's, that's not true. Uh, he made suggestions like any actor would make a suggestion. And I, I, I remember uh, being a part of this. There was one line, you know, there was a bye, I think, in the script. When he's saying bye to Preeti Zinta, he's going back from uh, Sydney. And he wanted to say, see you, instead of that. And he told Farhan that, how about if we say this? And Farhan thought about it and he said, no. And I said, okay, let me try both the options. And he tried both the options. And then he said, no, you're right, Farhan. It should be buy. That has more impact. You know, it's a simple thing like that. A buy or a see you. But it mattered to Amir, it mattered to Farhan. You know, it mattered to both of them enough to talk about it, to try it out, and then to decide on, on this one. And once Amir realized that what Farhan is saying is right, he went along with it. So where is this uh, megalomaniac? actor that uh, that media paints him to be you know he was just uh, phenomenally wonderful i think <laughs>